and thank you all for being at our Secrets of Good Pools Rendezvous, the magazine that explains everything you always wanted to know about pools, but never dared to ask. If you're the happy owner of a pool or you're planning to have one built, this program is for you. Today's theme, how to choose a pool filter. Let me tell you, we won't let anything pass. We usually put the accent on the pump, but don't get it wrong, the vital element in your pool is the filter. All the pump does is to move water towards the filter. As its name indicates, a filter is there to filter water. This means that it traps the solid particles in the circulating water to keep it clear and clean. Note that the filter sizing is directly related to the volume of water to treat. It's only once the filter has been sized that the pump can be selected, also taking into account pipe lengths and equipment. We can never stress this point enough. A suitable filter pump combination is the condition for the correct operation of your pool. But let's get back to the filter. There are two criteria for correctly choosing your filter. The first is the fineness of the filtering. In other words, the size of debris the filter can trap. The finer the filtering, the more your water will be clean and clear. The second criterion is retention capacity or the quantity of debris the filter can contain. You should be aware that it's the capacity that determines how often you need to clean the filter. So why not reduce that chore to a minimum? In theory then, choosing a filter is easy, but in reality it's a bit more complicated than it seems. Why is that, you ask? Well, simply because there's not just one type of filter. There are lots that can be sorted into four big families. Let's look in detail. First of all, sand filters are the most common. The water crosses through a bed of sand that traps the suspended particles. The sand is a special filtering sand that you can buy from your pool professional. However, other filtering media can be used, such as zeolite or crushed glass. The fineness of sand filters, between 40 and 50 microns, is nothing exceptional, but it can be improved by adding chemicals like flocculants. Flocculants are contained in a sock that is put into the skimmer. The microparticles of dirt that the filter can't trap are agglomerated by the flocculant into a bigger mass. The filter then has no difficulties in trapping it. It comes down to increasing the fineness of the filtering. Be careful, flocculants must only be used with sand filters. On any other type of filtering, they would rapidly clog the filter. Now let's look at how to maintain sand filters. Besides replacing the sand every five years or so, standard sand filter maintenance is simple but rather expensive in pool water because the technique is a backwash. What exactly is that? The filter clogs up gradually, preventing water from passing through it. As a result, the pressure increases. This is easy to see on the filter pressure gauge. As soon as it shows a pressure higher than normal between 0.5 and 0.7 bars, a backwash is needed. Backwashing, as its name indicates, consists in reversing the direction the water flows to dislodge the debris trapped in the sand. The pool water enters through the filter to lift the sand and clean it, and then goes directly to the drains. Now let's look at another type of filter, the cartridge filter. It has the advantage of filtering well between 20 and 25 microns, being easy to maintain and taking up little space. How does it work? The water enters the filter and passes through a high-performance filter cartridge coming out clean on the other side. For cleaning, just take out the cartridge and hose it down to dislodge the debris. This operation, which doesn't need much water, is to be repeated once per month if your cartridge filter has been correctly sized. At the end of the season, carry out an in-depth clean using a special cartridge cleaner and remember that it will need to be replaced every three or four years. There is another particularly interesting choice. A high-capacity filter is a filter with several cartridges. Its large size means that it can hold much more debris and, big advantage, it only needs cleaning once per season. With a filtration fineness between 20 and 25 microns, the filter has a large capacity feature offering the best value for water maintenance. Finally, we have the Diatom filter, the NEC Plus Ultra on the market with its exceptional 3 to 5 micron filtering, giving unequaled water quality. How does it work? 
Diatomy's microalgae, of which the silica skeleton is an excellent filtering medium. Placed in the skimmer, diatom powder agglomerates on the filter panels to form a highly effective filter cake, through which the water passes to come out perfectly clean on the other side. It's maintained in the same way as a sand filtering using a backwash. During this operation, part of the diatom flows away with the cleaning water. You therefore need to use a settling tank to recover it and avoid sending it down the drains. You should also remember to reload the filter with diatom before restarting the pump. Here's one last piece of advice. A filter should be dismantled and fully cleaned every year. So we have just covered all four types of existing filter. So now it's time to move on to the sequence you've been waiting for. The SMS questions. From the number of questions we've been getting, it's clear that filters are a hot subject. And as you know, on this program we don't filter questions. Nancy from Bristol says she used a sand filter and has particles in suspension in her pool. What should she do? Well, dearest Nancy, you can start by adding a little flocculant. That will help your filter to trap the particles or otherwise change to a cartridge or diatom filter to have better filtering and therefore clearer water. Peter from Liverpool wants to know whether filtering quality has an impact on water quality. Very smart, Peter. Indeed, the more the filtering is effective, the less you need to treat the water, also reducing the use of treatment products accordingly. Dan from Leeds wants to do things right. He wants to know how often he should check his filter. Admirable, Dan. Your foresight does you proud. Be practical. Take a look at the pressure gauge every week to check the pressure and clean the filter if the pressure is too high. This is true for any filter. Laura from Cambridge wants to get it right. Should I choose a sand filter with a valve on the top or on the side? It's quite simple, Laura. The valve on the side makes filter maintenance easier because the sand is easy to access. If the valve is on the top, the piping has to be removed to access the sand. On the other hand, it takes up less space. So, sand, cartridge, High capacity or diatom? Whatever your choice of filter, Hayward, the world leader in filtering systems and comfort equipment, offers you the best of each technology to combine fun, bathing, with savings and the protection of the environment. You can find the complete description of Hayward products, analyses, advice and seasonal questions on www.hayward.fr. Goodbye, we'll meet again soon to share the secrets of a good pool together. See you swimmers!